basic thing with scripting and thematic, which is finding parts. So if we take a look at the thematic file that we've got going on here. This is the, the demo file with the skull with the hole in it. Uh, we've segmented out the maxilla, the mandible, uh, cervical spine, two, first two vertebrae of the cervical spine, and the skin. And then we've done a, a cut plane to separate the skin into two parts. And uh, we've set the, an implant, which is a different module. So the first thing I wanted to do here was demonstrate the code to just find a part or all the parts. And so we go over to VS Code and we have to import Trimatic as a part, as a first thing for every script. Um, and before any function from the Threematic API, we need to write Threematic dot. And if we want to find a part, we can do find underscore part. And then we can put in quotes the name of the part. So if we take um, an example here, we'll do the first one, C2 space 3. So we could put that in, C2 space 3. And we can set that equal to a variable. Close. And then we can add a print to it, just so we can get it out there. Okay. And then I can just copy these lines and paste it right into the console here. Right. And now that it printed A, we know that it found the part because it's uh, showing up here. But maybe that's not really good if we have, you know, a generalized script where we need to find, you know, anything with a certain name, certain part of a name in it. We don't, it's not always going to be called this. So if we want to find a part or parts using regular expressions, we have to make this plural. We have to define parts. And then we can use something like this um, dot asterisk in here, which would say, OK, if anything that starts with C, capital C, it will find. And then let's print that and see what it comes out with. All right, so here it found both parts. And this is called a tuple. This is a, a list of two parts. So found both of these. Okay, now if we did A with the index of, sorry, if we did the variable A with the index of zero, this would equal the first part. And if we did A index of one, that would equal the second part. If we did A index of negative one, that would also equal the last part in the list. So it doesn't matter how long the list is, we'll just pick the last part. So in this case, those two things are equal, but not in every case. Um, we can also write them to the console directly. A equals trimatic dot. We write get parts. This will equal all of the parts. We just type A here, and we can see that it is a list of all the parts in that in that tree. Okay, and um, instances where we may want to get all of the parts in a list is when we want to do certain functions with every part, such as hiding all the parts or showing all the parts. So let's do that. Let's do get parts. Do this part empty. And then the function that we would use to sort of do the loop through each part and perform a function on each part. It's like a for loop. So if we do for part in A with the colon, this will do some kind of function. So we can do part dot visible equals false. This would hide all the parts. So just do those. Paste it into the console here. And there, it hit all the parts. So that's something we could do. Um, if, if you're doing some part of a script that's more uh, computationally heavy um, graphically, you can hide all the parts before you run those functions, and then it will be uh, it'll run a little bit faster. Um, 
you know, sometimes we would want to like smooth all our parts or kind of reduce function on all our parts or wrap all our parts or for certain parts in a list. So that's how we could do that. Uh, the other thing we can do is we can um, sometimes when you run a function, it can't run on a tuple. Even if the part that you're finding is only, there's only one of them, but if you're using find parts and you're doing this regular expression, say like um, we have max a lot, right? Have something like this. So let's see what happens here. Like this. You print a value. What you'll see is it still gives us a tuple. It's actually a list, but there's nothing in the um, there's still a comma, but there's nothing after it, right? So if we try to run certain functions on this, it will fail. Um, a dot is false. It's going to write this attribute error. So it's it can't perform a function on tuples. So if we really wanted this, if we know that there's only one, um, but we still want regular expression, we can actually put this little, we can put an index of zero after it, and that will make sure it's not a tuple. It's only going to return the first index, which we know there's only one. So we write A there, and here it makes it not a tuple. So now we can do A dot visible equals false, and it, it'll work. In this case, if you want to bring up the code again, just hit up the arrow on the keyboard. Show that. Okay. So, we do all kinds of functions to these. We could um, rename them, we could recolor them, we could do, you know, whatever it is. Um, if you want to find out the list of functions that you can do, you can just click Options and Help, open the scripting guide. Okay. Um, search the API here and we'll look through here and you can do all, all kinds of different stuff. So, um, I right, hope you enjoyed that tutorial on finding parts using uh, thematic scripting and doing functions with 